Hey guys, thanks for clicking. I appreciate that. So today we are going to service um, our zero turn, one of our zero turns. This is a Hustler. I'll flip it around and show you what we have, but we're going to do a hydro service. Um, that's filters, both hydros. So we will show you how to do it. I'll show you how we do it. <laughs> and uh, let's take a look at what we have. Right, here's the machine. This is a Hustler. This is the Fast Track SDX. Uh, fabulous machine this is our we bought it last year so we like to do the hydros once a year um, we're gonna get them going these machines in particular are really nice and pretty accessible to get to the hydros because not all the machines are like this one over here this is the kind of a nightmare to try to get to the hydros but this one's not. So let's flip it around and check out how to do it. So first things first, um, you do not have to take the wheels off. I took the wheels off just for this video so you could um, see what's going on here. It makes it uh, just a lot more accessible to do that, but you do not have to do it. So there's two covers, uh, left and right hydro. So first there's some 10 millimeter bolts here. I think there's three. You're gonna take those covers off first, and then you're gonna find your uh, filters in there. So let's remove the covers, and so we can access the filters. All right, and I apologize. These are 3 8 not 10 millimeter on here. So let's get these off. See how much grass those uh, covers hold and debris. A lot of stuff gets stuck in there, even though we blow it out all the time, but do that. And there's your filter on that side. Knock the cover off, and let's get the other one. Okay, I just use a oil filter wrench, kind of loosen them up. I'm gonna get these off here. They are on there a little tight. And the only, I have this jacked way up so we could um, make the video, but you probably want to lower down the machine so we can get all of the oil out because the position that they're in uh, kind of holding some of the oil. So I'm gonna have to finagle this around the jack. You could also do this one side at a time because they are separate hydros too. They do not mix um, the oil from one to the other. So you can lower these down the best you can. You can get the most amount of oil out of them. So that helps. Another reason why taking the wheels off does make it um, easier to go down a little bit lower. We have those draining out. They drain out pretty fast and I did take the top off the fill to make sure the oil goes down. Like I said, there are two separate tanks, one on each side. Um, so we'll let that drain and then we will reinstall the new filters. Here are the new filters. Um, so Hydro Gear is pretty much makes all of the pumps for pretty much all the machines you see out there. It's, um, they have their own filter. I use the Stens filters, you know, pick or choose what you want. If you want to use the Hydro Gear filter or the Stens filter, these are cheaper. To me, they're exactly the same thing and 
we use them on all our machines and we've used them for years and we've never had any problems. So I will leave a link in the description for both filters uh, so you can compare the difference if you're interested. Okay, so they've drained fully. So now we're just gonna clean, wipe this area clean here, make sure there's no debris. Cause like I said, the uh, covers catch a lot of debris in there and you can't get it off. So we're gonna clean those off. We're gonna reinstall our new filters and then we will drop it back down on its wheels and all the rest we can do from the top. Okay, so there we go. I always use a clean paper towel. Just make sure you don't leave any debris in there because you know, it's a hydraulic system. Definitely don't want any dirt in there. So we clean that off nice. Um, got my new filter here. Make sure you have oil, just like a basic oil filter around the gasket on there. You do not need to fill the filter with oil. And then hand, <clears throat> hand tighten those just like a uh, oil filter again. And then we'll reinstall our covers. Okay. All right, let's do the other side here. Get that seal area cleaned up well. All right, new filter, some oil on that seal there. Just hand tighten that best you can. Right, our cover back on here. Install our screws. So now we have them drained. We have the new filters back on, covers back on. Really only took a few minutes. Uh, very easy to machine to work on. Like I said, I pulled the wheels off just so it was convenient for you guys to see. But we're gonna pop those back on now and um, get it back down on its own feet. That's the bottom side, basic filters and drain. Now, the beautiful thing about this particular machine is the accessibility to the vent. Uh, like I said, all machines are not created equal. <laughs> Hustler just had a great idea and they made it so easy. You could literally get your hand. Now here is the, here's your reservoir and there'll be a tube to the bottom but you can see right there, that's the tube, let me get down there. That's the tube, and right next to it, that big nut is the vent cap, 
okay? So if you can get to the vent cap on your machine, that's amazing because it fills up in minutes. Otherwise, you kind of have to do the bubble method where you, you fill it, it drains down, you fill it, it drains down. It takes a lot longer. Uh, so this is pretty cool. So we are going to remove that vent. I believe it is, let's see if we can see this together because my eyes aren't so good these days. It is a seven eighths socket that goes right on that vent. I already loosened it. So I'm gonna take that off my hand. There it is. Vent cap, it's got its own gasket on there. And that way you can now fill the hydro. So you'll still fill it through here, but that lets the air come out so you can fill it right up. And you fill them right to the top. So let's get the oil. I use uh, 2050 oil. I use the Kawasaki oil. Hydro Gear does make its own oil for this. Um, and if you're one of those people who wants to use the exact same stuff, all power to you. I will leave a link in the description for the Hydro Gear oil. Also, if you want to check that out. But this is what we use in all our machines, 2050 Kawasaki let's get it in there it's in uh, each hydro takes about i think a little more than two quarts per side so you just fill this up and it will drain down you can also if you want you can put a funnel right into the vent However you like to do it is fine. All right, now while that's filling up, we're gonna go to the other side. We're gonna take that vent cap off on this side. All right, I'll take this one. So I think it's, I know it's two, maybe two and a half. We'll find out exactly how many of these take because these are the 3400 series um, hydros. And if you're familiar with the hydros, I'll tell you what, the 3200 to the 3400 is a very big difference in performance. So if you are contemplating um, purchasing a zero turn machine, a couple of things that are really important is number one, does it have serviceable hydros because some of these um, pumps they don't have a filter on them uh, and it's just kind of like you don't service them I guess you could if you want to take it apart I'm not sure I don't have any that are not serviceable but when you're looking at some of the lower price machines they don't have that or they have like a, a 2600 series or lower um, which I'm telling you, the performance difference between the 32 we have on our other machine and the 34 on this Hustler is unbelievable. It's, uh, it's so much faster, so much more responsive. Um, anyway, that's just a little hydro gear trivia for you there. And you can see they drain down pretty fast this way with those vent caps because if you can't get to the vent cap, and I know there's a lot of know-it-alls out there, but you just can't get to them on all the machines. It's really difficult. And you can just fill these up. I've done it on our Ferris that I showed you earlier. And it could take quite a while for these things to drain down. Uh, a couple of tricks with that is keep the oil warm, uh, either inside somewhere warm, or you can put the jars in some hot water or whatever. There's creative ways to warm it up, but the warmer the oil is, the faster it drains down. Today's a pretty raw, cold, rainy day here up in the Northeast. So we have the garage closed and we keep the oil in the basement so it stays nice and warm. But that will 
send these down pretty fast. And if you're really in a hurry, because everybody's always in a hurry sometimes, you can just put like a transmission oil filter right into the vent cap and you can dump it in a lot faster, but these go down pretty quick. So this is the way I like to do it. Okay, so that is two full quarts in each side. These are done here. Um, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna check the, the level. Let's see if we can get down there. I know you guys are probably upside down now because of the way I'm doing this. I don't think you can see in there, but I can. Uh, the level is probably like almost to the top there. So we'll pour in a little bit. Like I said, the other machine takes about two and a half quarts each. So we'll pour a little bit more in. I don't really want it to overflow out of the vent. Uh, then we'll put the vent on and then we'll level off the reservoir tanks here. Okay, so that was two full quarts in each side and I just poured a little bit um, and both reservoirs are full right to the top. They're actually overflowing a little bit there and you can see this one overflowing a little bit there. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and put the vent caps back on and then we'll finish leveling off to the uh, fill mark there. Okay, sorry I can't get the camera in closer, but you see, these are the caps. We're just gonna put those back on um, and then we'll snug those up. Maybe. <laughs> This side's a little easier. Uh, the other side does have the belt in the way, but it's really not, it's not that bad. You kind of get your finger right around them. Do that. All right. Now we're just gonna tighten those up. Going the right way here. one okay. folks so we have everything on the bottom reinstalled so now the only thing we have off are the caps to the reservoir and you do not fill these reservoirs i'm going to see if i can get the camera down here there is a level hang on a second i have to get a little creative guys because it's hard to get the camera to what I'm trying to show you, but on the reservoir down here, bear with me. Maybe my phone's too big. Let's see if we can go sideways. Anyway, there's full cold and then uh, the other one. So you do not fill those reservoirs up. Oh, sorry, the camera's all wanky. And now, once we get um, both of them there, which we have them, we are going to show you how to bleed the pumps. Okay, so now that we have it filled, we're going to bleed the um, system. I'm gonna show you how to do it. So you're gonna put the jack back underneath and you're gonna get both rear wheels just off of the ground, okay? Just like that, you're clear on each side. You don't need to go way up in the air. And we're gonna get on the machine and we're going to just move these sticks. All right, so you got the machine up off. You're gonna start the machine and you're gonna take the sticks forward and you're basically just slowly going to move forward, slowly back. Make sure your wheel starts to respond because it takes a few minutes for the oil to get through and to bleed out the air. So you're gonna do that, then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side, back, and just ease it forward just like that. And then see how they start to respond. You can do, you know, back and forth. Basically, that's just what you're gonna do is keep moving them back and forth. Doesn't matter really which way you go or how you do it. There's not a special system to it. You know, just wanna get the stuff works back in, so. 
We're gonna open the door. We're gonna start the machine and we'll do that so you can see how it reacts. All right, and last but not least, um, so this bled out pretty good. There was no problems. It was responsive right away. You'll feel it. Sometimes it needs a little more time. So if, it, if you are having a struggle where it's not responding, I suggest jacking it back up um, and freewheeling the uh, wheels until they're responding. Uh, you can check your level down there on the oil. I suggest checking it uh, several times through when you use it, but both of these are in a pretty good spot right there. Um, and you, you can, like I said, check it each time. Uh, basically all you need for a hydro change, here's the filters. These filters cover, I think most of all those hydro pumps, you know, look them up to be specific for your model, but I'm pretty sure these cover because <laughs> we use the same ones on almost all of our machines um, and that's the oil we use like I said in the description below I will put a link for all the products so you can click directly to them and there you go guys I don't know I've never actually had one of my machines serviced in a dealer uh, or a shop so I don't know what they charge for a hydro service but it is really not complicated like I said some machines it's a little more difficult to get to the vent cap. And if you do have that, I'll link a description for the Ferris machine that we did in the end screen there. So you could see how we did it without getting to the vent cap. Um, other than that, it's really easy. It's not complicated. It doesn't cost a lot of money for the stuff. You can see in the description, all the prices will be down there and the parts. And you can do the service yourself. Uh, as far as how many hours you're supposed to do it, I don't really know exactly. We do it every single year, but we use these machines commercially. I suggest using, you know, doing the oil every year on the hydro system, whether you use it commercially or not, just, you know, better safe than sorry. It's an expensive part to replace. Um, and then now you don't have to worry about it going bad. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you have any comments or questions, oh, sorry, if you have any nice comments or questions, down in the description below in the comment section. We really appreciate it. Peace.